Even though The Tonight Show isn't a political show, it's my responsibility to stand up against intolerance and extremism as a human being. What happened over the weekend in Charlottesville, Virginia was just disgusting. I was watching the news like everyone else, and you're seeing like, Nazi flags and torches and white supremacists, and I was sick to my stomach. My daughters are in the next room playing, and I'm thinking, how can I explain to them that there's so much hatred in this world? They're two years old and four years old. They don't know what hate is. They go to the playground and they have friends of all races and backgrounds. They just play and they laugh and they have fun. But as kids grow up, they need people to look up to, to show them what's right and good. They need parents and teachers and they need leaders who appeal to the best in us. The fact that it took the president two days to come out and clearly denounce racists and white supremacists is shameful. And I think he finally spoke out because people everywhere stood up and said something. It's important for everyone, especially white people in this country, to speak out against this. Ignoring it is just as bad as supporting it. And remember, there are people who have given their lives to make sure this kind of hate doesn't spread. They fought and died on the right side of history. One brave woman in Charlottesville Heather Heyer died standing up for what's right at the age of 32. I can't look at my beautiful, growing, curious daughters and say nothing when this kind of thing is happening. We all need to stand against what is wrong, acknowledge that racism exists, and stand up for what is right and civil and kind, and to show the next generation that we haven't forgotten how hard people have fought for human rights. We cannot do this. We can't go backward. We can't go back. Outside of Trump Tower, right across the street, as you can see behind me, hundreds of protesters are already gathering in anticipation of Trump's arrival here tonight. Like you said, this is just the latest protest to take place following the incident that happened in Charlottesville over the weekend. Over the weekend, hundreds of rallies and protests also broke out all across the country. Let's take a look. Protesters filled the streets of New York over the weekend, marching through Midtown Manhattan. Demonstrations also took place in other major cities, including Seattle, Chicago, Baltimore, and San Francisco, to show support of Charlottesville. Thousands took part in the multi-faith vigils and rallies across the country. I looked to my left, and I saw Heather Heyer lying on the ground. And I saw the light pass from her eyes, and I watched her die. And from that moment on... Quero. Pô, 
por quê? Porque eu quero. E por que você quer ser uma negra? Maria, quando você crescer, você casa com um marido negro e tem um monte de filhos negros. Thank you.